أحمد الله حمد الباديه الذاكرين الشاكرين وأصلي وأسلم على خير المرسلين اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحابه والتابعين وتابعي التابعين بإحسان إلى يوم الدين اللهم اجعل تجمعنا هذا تجمع مرحوما واجعل تفرقنا من بعده تفرقا معصوما ولا تجعل فينا أو غائب عنا شقيا أو محروما My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, community leaders, the board members of this beautiful masjid, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. First of all, I would like to thank the management for allowing us to have this program here in your masjid. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. And uh, uh, the first thing that I want to start with tonight is by thanking and praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the many na'am, for the many bounties that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed on us. As the Imam uh, uh, in the Maghrib prayer, he recited beautiful ayat. Subhanallah. That's something that we're going to face. Every one of us is going to, to face some kind of hardship. And subhanAllah, I mean, this hardship it might be financial hardship, it might be society hardship, it might be a uh, children hardship. You'll never know, subhanAllah Rabbil Alameen. But the way is, how are we going to react to this hardship? Are we going to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in good times and be patient when are we going through hard time? Or what we're going to say, or what we're going to do? As Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that the highest level of intellect after believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to be of service to his creation. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And speaking of the poor and the weak, when Umar ibn al-Khattab was asked to change the clothes of the Kaaba, he said, the poor and the weak, are be, when they are being fed and clothed better than, better and most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than changing the clothes of al-Kaaba. Subhanallah Rabbil Alameen. Even though when Umar ibn al-Abdul Aziz, when he was leaving this dunya, when he was in his bed dying, and everyone from over the, the world came to see him, he said, I don't want to be with these people. Bring me the poor people. Bring me the weak. Because those are the most beloved people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and I want to be around them when I die, when I meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let me ask you this. When was the last time you felt hunger in your stomach? It happened to all of us. Maybe you were traveling, maybe you are away from your home, maybe you have no money in your pocket and you, cannot, uh, you couldn't buy food. How did it feel when you felt hungry? Allahu Akbar. When was the last time you have seen someone sleeping in her car? Subhanallah, how does it feel? My dear brother and sister in Islam, it's very important for you to know that those people who are going through rough time, it's a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala testing those people with hardship, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing others with their wealth, with their money, with their children. As Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever wakes up in the morning, feel healthy, secure, has food for just one day, as if, as if he had the whole world for himself. Look at our refrigerators. Look at how we sleep every night. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. But let me share with you this. When you pray, you might get reward and inshallah you will get. When you read Quran, when you fast, inshallah you will get reward and you will get that. But when in the middle of the night, one of those sisters who occupied one of our shelter homes and one of them is here in, in Chicago. When one of these sisters wakes up in the middle of the night and raise her hand to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make dua for you, that will be your best bet. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Subhanallah, that's why we are here. For those poor, for those who are weak, for those who need. Subhanallah, Rabbil Alameen. I'm not going to fundraise tonight, but I'm talking to your hearts. Think about it. See what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to open your heart with. Feel the, the heat that they are going through and whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open your heart with, we have pledge cards in the back, inshallah, or one of the, our uh, youth is delivering you pledge card right now. Whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open your heart with, just donate. Just do that inshallah. Make it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Make it, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept from you. Because my dear brother and sister in Islam is not only 
uh, the, 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 the prayer, the reading the Quran, the salawat, that it's going to get you into the Al-Jannah. It is more than that. Rasulullah said, he saw a man traveling in paradise. All what he did, he trimmed a branch of a tree, was helping Muslims. Allahu Akbar. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted a prostitute to enter Al-Jannah because she gave a sip of water to a dog, what that tell you? Subhanallah, that this lady, subhanallah, understood what is the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She said that as long as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provided me when I was thirsty, it's my job to provide for others when they are in need. So inshallah, Rabbil Alameen, make the intention, inshallah, Rabbil Alameen, tonight that you are going to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whatever you can afford tonight, whatever you will be able to give, inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of us, and inshallah, we'll listen to our keynote speaker, Imam Musaim Sharif, Jazakumullah khairan, wa barakallahu feekum, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Muhammad wa alayhi wa sallam.